I'm the oldest franchise in the network. It's pretty interesting when we started it, it, uh, it was in, I think it was in late 2002 or early 2003 when it was just a concept. And uh, Denver was one of the areas that um, um, they were uh, getting involved in. And so I got started from the very beginning. I, Hi, my name's Andy Rozo. I'm an enhanced franchise in the Denver metro area. One of the things that makes it very attractive, in my opinion, is just because we created this market. Uh, Enhance is the one who created this niche in the market. Uh, it just didn't exist before. It, it just really didn't. Speaking specifically of cabinet work, that prior to this being introduced, you basically had two choices or three choices. You lived with what you had, or you refaced it, uh, you get the new doors and all that, or you had to put new cabinets in. The sky's the limit, to be honest with you. I think that um, every year, the, all 14 years that I've been doing it, you know, we've seen uh, steady growth, uh, especially as you learn to really um, fine-tune your marketing and, and get the, uh, the type of clientele that you're after and everything. I was actually a manufacturing engineer in aerospace um, and did that for quite a while and enjoyed it immensely, but uh, I just knew that I, I kind of ha have always had that entrepreneurial spirit and wanted to be out on my own, uh, wanted to have something that, that, that we could manage and we could be in control of, and so uh, it was uh, uh, quite a change to go from what I was doing to, to uh, owning your own business. Everybody thinks of success differently. That's kind of the neat thing about uh, being an entrepreneur and being with Enhance is that you get to decide what do you determine as success, right? Because you, if you might be the kind of person that really wants to do hands-on and wants to work on the job all the time because you love working with your hands and you love working with wood in this case, then that's success to you and you can do that and you can make a good living. You really can. And then you have somebody else who might want to determine success as having multiple crews out there not doing the work so much anymore, but just kind of managing, maybe even being an absentee owner, being somebody who's hardly involved at all and has management teams in place to, to run your business and stuff. You can do any one of those from, from, from the one-man operation to a multiple operation, and all of those are successful, um, which I think is really neat and, and, and is definitely doable. I pretty much have gotten to the point where it's what I want to do, where I'm doing the estimates and I'm, I'm doing the marketing stuff that, uh, for my company. And so most of my day, most of the time, is taken up with uh, doing estimates and, and then the paperwork, uh, you know, that kind of thing, yeah. The nice thing about it is that, that all the franchisees in the network really do connect with one another. They kind of help each other as well as, as from, from Harris Research, of course, but just that, that connection of franchise to franchise has been really, really good for a lot of people to be able to get advice and help from, from, from your fellow franchises. That's one really cool thing about the way this, this brand works anyway. Yeah.